Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by uh, calling 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Calls are free and confidential. Every year, over 600,000 individuals go missing in the United States, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System. While many are quickly found and returned to their families, others remain missing as years pass by. This is Basil's story. So Basil Lefty, then 25, is missing from Scotts Valley, California. His last date of contact was Friday, May 5th, 2017. He drives a gray four-door 2005 Toyota Scion, uh, California license plates 5JZU565. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office in is investigating. They can be reached at 831 471 one one two one. Basil's case number is one seven zero three six nine nine. He studied at the University of California at Santa Cruz. He attended from two thousand nine to two thousand fifteen. He got his bachelor's in biology. The weather the day that he went missing: the high was seventy, the low was fifty four. There was no rain. The sun rises at 6.09 a.m. and it set at 8.01 p.m. He was in Claremont, San Diego in February of 2017. And then he had a profile that he created and it said that he promotes well-being and future-oriented change and attitude is about accomplishment. It sounds very upbeat. Um, he wants to spread positive vibes. So I don't... It, on the surfaces, it doesn't sound like he would be entertaining thoughts of self-harm. He's very accomplished. But if this is his first time out in the, quote, real world, unquote, it might have been more than he was anticipating and caught him off guard and might have done something he didn't expect to be doing any time remotely in his life. I do have some questions for his friends and family if they see this and can provide some further background information. It might help us recover him faster for them. Uh, what was his work address and places that he liked to frequent? Did he put any time off requests in at work or perhaps a resignation? Does he volunteer anywhere, attend religious facilities at all? If so, which ones and where? Does he uh, prefer to go out or stay home? Is he an early bird or a night owl? Did he give any possessions away in the month or two before he disappeared? Does he prefer driving on main roads or back roads? Is he okay driving at night? Were the license plate readers checked by the sheriff's office or the police department? Did he put any calls into AAA, his mechanic or car insurance provider? the day or two before he went missing? Are there any items that he always carried with him? Perhaps a necklace or a ring, a multi-tool pocket knife, something for self-defense? Um, and then does he have any chronic health issues such as being diabetic, epileptic? Did he have any back-to-back -back concussions or other brain injuries? And then what was the last place of his the place of his last verified financial transaction transaction would need to be done with either a check or a credit card or bank card and then i can't remember if i said this but what were the coordinates of his last cell phone ping the sheriff's office or the police department should be able to subpoena the records for that um if we can get that or his last financial transaction, we could hopefully pin him down to within just a few miles of those locations. And then does he take any prescription medications regularly? 
If he does, were his prescriptions picked up after he disappeared? And if you talk with the pharmacy, were the medications transferred to another pharmacy after he disappeared as well? It might be just be a passive way to uh, try to track him. So next, I'm going to share some locations with my blessing so that Basil can be reunited with family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, know somebody missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from our current best starting location, which is just his uh, hometown of Scotts Valley, and then it goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So at the surface level, I've got Corcoran Lagoon, the Schwann Lagoon, Woods Lagoon, the San Lorenzo River, Lac Lamond, and then you might notice here as we're scrolling around that the area is heavily forested. There's also a lot of canyons and ravines. It could be that he might have uh, taken a turn too hard or driven straight off over uh, the road and not realized it at the time. So just something for us to be aware of. As I had mentioned earlier, 1,600 people go missing in the United States every day. Your donation helps bring closure to families like Basil's by helping us secure equipment and getting us to locations all around the United States where missing people may be found using cutting edge sonar technology. Our mobile unit is able to assist families in small towns that need the high end uh, equipment and diving services. We can also assist large cities as adjunct professionals. We help families, area government, environmental cleanup efforts, and other public safety entities free of charge. When you donate to Adventure Sphere, you ensure volunteers can continue to be there for these people. Thank you for whatever support you can give, even if it's just subscribing to our channel, liking our content, and ringing the notification bell to receive updates. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.